If you already have digital sensors in your office, no problem. We're going to have as tight as integration as, we, as you're going to have with those sensors. If you don't already have a sensor in your office, what a wonderful opportunity. We sell both, practice management and sensors, extremely tightly integrated. Let me show you the ad of our dream sensor. Our sensor has a direct connection into the USB port on your computer, so there is no box it connects to. It connects directly into the computer, so it's a direct connect. Um, CMOS design. There's a tungsten strengthened Kevlar reinforced cable. If there's an area on a sensor that might break, it would be the cable. Our cable has been reinforced, especially the area that goes into the sensor. Our cable doesn't break, and if it does, it can be repaired. So it's a wonderfully strong cable. Um, it's a waterproof, hermetically sealed housing on the sensor, and so you can actually submerge the sensor to sterilize it. And it is advertised as the thinnest CMOS sensor on the market at under 5.5 millimeters. And to even add more to patient comfort, um, we have for the extreme rounded corners on all four corners of the sensor. It's won all sorts of awards. You're going to love the sensor. Okay, let me show you how we integrate the practice management software to the Dream sensor. If you're looking at the charting screen, you're going to note a number that's not the tooth number. For example, here in tooth number two, we have a four below the tooth. If I click on that, it will bring up the four x-rays associated with tooth number two. Here we have a tooth number three, 18 x-rays associated with that too. Uh, tooth number 18 has three x-rays, so it will bring up those corresponding x-rays. Pretty neat, pretty easy way to get to your x-ray in the software. Another neat thing is that you can actually view your x-ray while you're doing your treatment planning. So you can combine your clinical world with your practice management world. So here I am looking at an x-ray, we can go ahead and click on our composite button and go ahead and do some treatment planning while at the same time we're viewing our x-ray. Computer monitors are getting bigger and bigger, and so if you do have that extra space to the right, like I have on my computer, you can simply drag your x-rays over here to the right. And so if you have a lot of x-rays, no problem. You can view all of your x-rays here on the right-hand side and the extra space that you have on your large monitor. Let's go ahead and show you how to take an x-ray. So you could be in the charting screen or any screen for that patient, and you'll have an x-ray button in the upper right-hand corner. We'll simply click on that button to pull up our digital imaging program. Here we are looking at Tamara White. To take an x-ray, all you have to do is take on this oversized take x-ray button. It's hard to miss. So when we click on that, we can go ahead and click on a single x-ray if we want to take a, a PA. We can do that. Or we can click on our uh, automated x-ray series button here. And you virtually have any mount uh, available here for taking x-rays. If we don't have one, you can actually create your own customized layout. Or we can do it for you. In this case, we're going to go ahead and just take four bite wings. So I'll go ahead, click on the button here, and what you'll do is you'll put a little sleeve over your sensor, you put the sensor in a positioner, place it in the patient's mouth, position the x-ray over the sensor, and hit the button on your x-ray head to shoot radiation at the sensor. And what will happen is the program will automatically render an x-ray image here for position number one for these teeth, one, two, three, and so forth. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just import an x-ray to show you what it would look like. And this will be in the bottom right hand molar here. Boom. And here we have that x-ray. The program will automatically sequence to number two, number three, and number four. You don't have to touch the keyboard or the mouse again. The program, as you take these x-rays, will know to go to the next sequence. If you do make a mistake, just like a digital camera, you can manually go back and retake an image to correct whatever mistake that you made. And so the program will quickly go through these different positions on your mount as you hit the x-ray button to take the Take the x-ray. Let's go ahead and take a look at the x-rays for Paige Davis. To look at x-rays, all you have to do is click on the View Image button here. You can click on a tooth to see all the x-rays associated with that tooth. You can just view all images here, or you can actually view images by date. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this full mouth x-ray series here. And to really zoom in on an x-ray, all you have to do is double click on it to zoom in on the x-rays. And then from here, you have all sorts of wonderful tools that you can use. I have found that most doctors don't use all the tools in the software, but they do use a few select tools. You have to remember, oftentimes you have a patient sitting in a chair looking at you, and you want to be very fast and efficient. The program definitely allows you to do that. Here we are looking at the grayscale box. If the image isn't dark enough, we can go ahead and use our mouse to make it darker or make it lighter. So this is a very easy-to-use tool to darken or lighten up an X-ray image. Another tool that I see dentists use is the magnification tool. Okay, we just have to click on the magnifying button here in the bottom right hand corner of our screen and then go ahead and click on the two and then right, right click. When you do that, it really zooms into the x-ray. You can view, in this case, the root canal very clearly. Another tool 
that I see used commonly in dental offices is the enhancement button here. That's also in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. When you use that button, we'll go ahead and left click with our mouse and then right click. This tool uses an algorithm that really brings out the contrast of an x-ray. You can see in this case, it gives this root canal a nice pop. If you would like, you can go into your enhancements button here and you can go into the advanced tools and have all sorts of additional items, including inverting the colors. Okay, you can do that for the entire image, not just for the magnified area. You can also sharpen your images, uh, colorize your images, all sorts of things that you can use. Digital imaging is also a great way to educate your patients. We can click on our label button here on the left hand side. We can go ahead and draw arrows on our image. So if we want to point something out, we can quickly draw an arrow to point it out. Um, we can also put a little text label next to that if we really want to point something out. Needs a root canal. Probably doesn't, but let's go ahead and put that on there. There we have a wonderful label. If you want to measure the length of a root, no problem. We can do that as well. We'll go ahead and click on our measurement label button here. We can go ahead and start here at the top and measure the root canal by just clicking to go ahead and show those curves on it. We have a 19.11 millimeter root canal on this tooth. After you've done your patient education, if you want to declutter the screen, all you have to do is click on the undo button to remove the items that you placed on the tooth. Now every doctor has their unique preferences for how the image is rendered. One of the neat things that we do here at Denimax is that our digital imaging trainer will work with you and your staff so that the program auto applies the filters you like the best so that Denimax will produce your dream image. To recap, Denimax Dream Sensor is not only the thinnest sensor on the market with extreme rounded corners for patient comfort, it also has won all sorts of awards taking a phenomenal looking image. Um, I think the best thing I can say to you is you be the judge. Take a look at our image. You'll be very pleased with the image quality of the Denimax Dream Sensor.